Welcome to AzureTeach.net. In this video, we are going to create a web API action that will return multiple files as a zip file. This is based on a real time use case. Stay tuned. Before we start, please subscribe to AzureTeach.net channel for more videos on Azure and .NET. This is based on a real time use case of a US based health insurance company. As a healthcare provider, had tied up with different hospitals and these hospitals have to submit the data to the insurance company every month every hospital have to submit the data in csv file format and they have to submit two files one for the admissions and another one for the transfers while they are submitting the data they have to follow certain standards like here if you see we have defined a file name format which is state code underscore the type of file that is admissions or transfers and after that month in two digits and year in two digits and after that the file format that is CSV. These files have few required columns. For example, if you see here for admission file format, except these two columns, all other columns are mandatory. Please note that in real time, we have so many number of columns, but to make it simple, I'm showing only few columns. For transfers file type, we'll have transfer date over here instead of admission date, and we will not have this disturbed date, and we'll have this, and so many other columns will be there. So we have created template files with all the required columns. These hospitals downloads the template files using our front-end application which calls our API. As we have multiple files over here, we are returning those files in a zip format. Those hospitals will unzip those files and fill up the data and uploads the files back to our insurance client. Let us begin with the demo. Here I have created a .NET 6 web API application. I am adding a new controller API, API controller empty, add, and here I am naming it as file process controller. I have the template files in this path, but in real time, we have these files in a shared drive. I am copying this path, going to Visual Studio, declaring a variable private constant string template files path is equal to I am pasting the path over here and after that here I am writing an action public async task i action result and after that here get template files and inside this we have to add the logic before that I want to give http get over here and I want to go with the action name. So here I am writing action. Here the idea is read the files, create an in memory zip file, and return it. So here I am writing using var out stream is equal to new memory stream. And after that, here I am writing using var archive is equal to new zip archive first i'll write the code and at the end i'll explain it so here i'm writing zip archive mode here we are creating a new file so here i am mentioning create and after that here i am passing true for this leave open parameter here we are iterating over the files and adding it one by one so we have to keep the stream open so we are passing true over here and after that here we have to iterate over the files so here where file in directory dot get file and we have to pass our template files path over here and after that here we have to write file in archive is equal to archive dot create entry and here we have to give a file name so we can get the file name with path dot get file name here we can mention the compression level so here if you see we have fastest so if you want to create 
the zip file very fast you can go for fastest but here it don't care about the optimal size and if you choose no compression it will add the file as is and i want to go with the optimal one but here we have the smallest size but it will take more time so i'm going with the optimal one over here after that here i'm writing using where entry stream is equal to file in archive.open and after that here i'm writing using where file compression stream is equal to new memory stream and to this we have to pass the content of the file so here i'm writing system dot io dot file dot read all bytes so here we have to pass the path so that is the file and after that here we can write await file compression stream dot copy to async and we have to pass the entry stream and here we must set the position of outstream to zero otherwise it will return an empty file and after that here we have to return file and we have to return the bytes from the outstream so here i'm writing outstream dot worry and after that here we need to pass application slash zip because we are returning a zip file and here we have to mention the file name so here i'm mentioning template files dot zip how this code is going to work when we are creating the zip files we can follow two approaches one we can create the zip file in a temporary location and we can return it and the other approach is creating an in memory zip file and here we are following the same as we are creating an in memory zip file we are using memory stream as we are creating the zip file here we are using zip archive class and we are passing the stream and we are mentioning the zip archive mode as create so we are creating a new one and here we are passing true because we want this zip archive stream to be open as we are adding the files one after another so here we are iterating over the files and here we are creating an entry into the zip file so for each file we are creating an entry so that entry is a stream so here we are opening that particular entry and we are compressing the file and we are putting the content of this file into the entry stream so here we can understand like we have opened the file over here read it into memory stream and after that we have copied that to the entry stream and this entry stream is created as an entry into the zip file so ultimately we put the file content into the archive and this archive will put the file content to the memory stream now here we are setting the position of stream to zero otherwise it will return an empty file and after that here we are converting our stream into an array and returning the zip file let us run the solution and test so here it opened the swagger ui i am clicking on this get clicking on try it out clicking on execute and here if you see we got the download file i am clicking on this so the file has downloaded now i am clicking on open file so here if you see we have two files let me open one of the files here is the file if you want to change the file names inside the zip file so here i am adding a different file name over here so maybe i am adding temp underscore over here let us run this solution and see how 
the zip file will be created here it opened the swagger ui i'm clicking on get try it out execute so here we have the zip file i'm clicking on open file so here if you see the temp is appended to the file name so if you want to change the file name inside your zip archive you can change the file name over here that is all in this demo if this video is helpful to you please like the video share it with your friends and also subscribe to azureteach.net channel thank you